Argentina had recently asked Chinese delegation to reduce the price of JF-17 fighter jets, or it will have to consider India's Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet. Officials have said that three major British components are used in the Tejas aircraft, which includes the Radome, air-to-air refueling probe and Mark 16 ejection seats, and the UK is unlikely to grant export clearance of these three British components, due to the existing British arms embargo on Argentina. Chinese JF-17 is also equipped with a PK-16 ejection seat made by the British company Martin Baker, but to overcome the British embargo, China have offered an indigenous ejection seat made by the Chinese Aerospace Life Support Industries Limited. India is also developing an indigenous radium for the Tejas Mark II program, and there are alternative options for air-to-air -air refueling probe from manufacturers like French firm Safran Aero Systems and ejection seats from Boeing, but it is not feasible due to only 12 aircraft requirement of Argentina. India has issued an OTAM warning for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle over the Arabian Sea, for the period of 23rd June to 24th June, for a joint exercise between the Indian Air Force and the US Navy. There is also a second NOTAM for the period 23rd to 25th June for a range of 750 km, which is likely to be the test of the nearby cruise missile with indigenous manic engine. A third NOTAM has also been issued over the Bay of Bengal, for the period of 28th to 29th June and a range of 1,680 km, that can be the test of the 1,500 km range AD-1 interceptor of BMD program or the new indigenous long-range land attack cruise missile. There is also a fourth NOTAM for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle for the period of 5th July to 7th July, for a range of 760 km, which can be the test of the extended range BrahMos missile, or the 700 km range Shorya missile, which was quietly approved for induction and deployment last year by the Modi government. Sea trials of INS Vikrant that was supposed to have begun in the first half of this year, has now been delayed due to various lockdowns and travel and visa restrictions, and it will likely begin by October, after the rainy seasons in the southern part of the country. INS Vikrant has already been incorporated with its weapon systems, and once the sea trials are completed, it will start air operation trials by the MiG-29K carrier Bonn fighter jets. There is a chance that the Indian Navy will now get the delivery of INS Vikrant in 2022, which was earlier expected to be in December 2021. The Indian Navy has said that the two least Sea Guardian drones have significantly enhanced its long-range surveillance, and the high-endurance drones are helping to keep a close watch on the vessels of interest across the Indian Ocean region Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. Once cleared by the Cabinet Committee on Security, the three Indian armed services will get 30 armed drones with Hellfire missiles, which will allow to target any potential enemy vessels during its surveillance missions. Rafale Advanced Defense Systems has enhanced its fifth-generation Python 5 short-range air-to-air missile with a networked capability that will enable it to acquire targets in a tactical air-to-air -air environment from associate aircraft equipped with the company's Global Link software-defined radio system that is based on Rafale's BNet technology. This is significant as the Tejas has recently tested the Python 5, and the Indian Air Force is already procuring these Israeli software-defined radios for its Su-30 MiG-29 and Mirage 2000 fighter jets.